This is the latest Voxy, which was launched 2022. It got tons of upgrade compared to the previous generation, and it's even better than the Alpha here and the Wellfire. The power boot switch, the kick sensor over here, and this is the one, Toyota Safety Sense, the TSS 3.0 for the Voxy. Let's check it out. It comes with the upgraded camera, which is a higher resolution and wider angle. And also improved sensor, improved radar sensor for longer and wider field of view. We go through with the switches or controls at the steering wheel first. These are the switches for the cruise control. This you can choose additive cruise control mode or cruise control mode. Additive, okay. Usually we use additive. And then this is to turn on or off. This is to turn on or off. This, when the cruise control is active, this is called lane tracing assist. When it's not on cruise control, this is the, we call it lane wash. Sorry, lane departure alert. It's a lane departure, you can see there's a signal over here. It's also available for the head up display. Can you see that? This is increase the increase speed or this decrease. And then this is cancel. To resume, just push up to resume. Okay, this is how we use it. And yes, this one. This is uh, the distance that you want to set between you and the car at the front. Where can you see that? Okay, so these are the controls for the cruise control and this is your multi evo display. Okay, let's move. Alright, let's start with the pre crestive system which is upgraded. It can detect human. It can detect human, it can detect car, it can detect bike. And also when you are at the intersection, it will detect the upcoming upcoming vehicle from other lane or coming from the left or to the right. So this is the upgrade between the 2.0 or 2.5 to 3.0 and the RSA road sign assist. The previous safety system it only detect the speed road sign. And for this 3.0, it covers more warning signs like uh, no entry or speed bump or any other and the list goes on. LDA, Lane Departure Alert. The enhancement is that thanks to the cameras and sensor, it can detect a 3D object on the road. It will gently help you stir away to avoid it. The proactive dynamic assist with this enabled it will help you to slow down at the corners it will help you to uh, like it's smarter it's smoother compared to the older one yes the previous uh, TSS 2.0 it will help you to brakes or alert you when there's an obstacle at the front or there's a car stopping in front of your front but with this proactive it can alert even smoother earlier and safer it will start with slowing down apply gently brake and if you are, don't do anything it will emergency brake for you so this is very good this is the sensor it can detect your eyes it makes sure you keep your eyes on the road 
which is very good because uh, it can avoid you putting your eyes on the phone screen while driving. Uh, just now it did apply a gentle brake for me when the car is uh, shifting into my lane and go to turn to the left. So let me try not looking at the front. Now it detected. Uh, it will ask me to look forward. If you ignore it, you will say driver monitor cancel. It will just alert you. If you ignore it, then you will cancel itself. This comes with the blind spot monitoring system, which that it comes with the rear cross traffic alert. Even the older generation, they have it, if I'm not mistaken. But for this, it comes additional front cross traffic alert. Now let's try the dynamic radar cruise control, which is they said the Toyota claim is better. Oh, it's auto brake for me. Uh, this is the proactive driving assist. Okay, now let's get back to the cruise control. For the dynamic cruise control, the 3.0, they claim it's smoother and better and smarter. So I want to check whether how smart it is, how good it is. This is a lane tracing assist when the cruise control is activated. You will make sure your car is at the center middle of the lane you will make sure that your car is in the middle of the lane but but when there's a big vehicle ahead of you and there's some space on the right I mean for example like this from that like that so it should be center it should be center but when there's a big vehicle it will slightly stir a little bit to the right to get more space they claim they claim which is uh, I can't try it in the in the camera like that so we just try the cruise control see how smooth it is okay turn on now okay i just want to make sure that my eyes is on the road i don't hold the steering see whether it will alert me to hold the steering or not because the previous tss, TSS i need to put my hands on the steering wheel but for this i'm not so sure they said just make sure that your eyes on the road see mm, okay good no you still need to put your hands on the steering wheel so that's two not only you must make sure you are looking forward okay your eyes must look forward and also put your hands on the steering wheel They claim that uh, oh, there's a car that shift into my lane and there's an alert here. Okay, very smart. Okay, let's see whether they say that it will be very smooth, like any brakings or acceleration. Acceleration. Any acceleration or brakings is smoother compared to the old one. I mean that less harsh, less harsh driving. I mean the throttle is less harsh compared to the old one. Mm, okay, the distance for the car. Oh, there's a four step. There's a four step that you can adjust instead of three from the old one. I think I have to set it to the nearest. Oh, oops. Okay. Turn right. And when there's a curve, it will slow down. Let's see. Yes, it applies the gentle brake when taking curve. But still, it's a bit dangerous if you are letting it do all the work for you. Maybe because this is a van, I still feel that the distronic from Mercedes is better. Okay, I resume. I 
I set a uh, one one five. Now at the curve there, so it won't increase. The speed will increase because I'm taking corners. Okay, straight line it increase. really can detect the curve the sensor at the front is uh, the center at the front is much better it can detect the curve it can detect the obstacle it can detect the cars when shifting into my lane everything okay the car at the front is very slow let's see the smooth braking is it is the braking smooth Okay, the braking is slightly better than the previous 2.0 or 2.5 but still I think the this tonic from Mercedes is better yeah it's still quite harsh to me it's just slightly better but still not good enough Pro Active Driving Assist or Dynamic Radar Cruise Control on TSS 3.0 They claim a lot of upgrades but uh, for me uh, Sorry, I'm uh, sorry to say Still a lot of room for improvement Okay, Toyota Safety Sense 3.0. Yeah, it's better than the O1 2.0 or 2.5, but still, it's not good enough. It's, to be honest, a bit disappointed. A bit disappointed. It's just not as good as what I told you just now, the Mercedes Distronic. Even way before year 2020, the 2019 model Distronic is better, smoother, and it alert faster and more consistent compared to the 3.0 as for this yeah when i got a chance when i'm free i try to do the review for the cruise control for the audi so how about yeah so they are almost the same price yeah the older model alpha or newer model we'll see. so which one will you choose mm, maybe you can check my video here Thank you.